morning, everyone. We are here at Mark's Greenhouse this morning, but we are talking cowboy boots, and we are getting all those cowboys and cowboy girls of Southwest Georgia dressed and looking good this morning. But, Gary, you've got tons of boots here. I mean, piles and piles and piles of boots. How many do you all have oh, here at Mark's Greenhouse? Quite a few. we got Ariat, uh, Double H, oh, Carolina, wow. Georgia Boot, Dan Post, um... Now, I'm new to this whole southern thing, still learning my way around. I've been right. down here in southwest Georgia for a little while. Are those kind of the, the top name brand boots? Um, Dan Post, area. They're, they're two of the not top name brand, brand okay. boots. So they're kind of like the Nike or the Adidas in the sneaker Somewhat, world. yes. yes. I got gotcha. you. Now, when it comes to buying a cowboy boot or a cowgirl boot, how do you know what kind to buy? Um, well, most people go with style. Mm -hmm. um, the fit, that's another thing. Um, you will go a little bit larger on your boot than you okay. with your regular shoe, a half size larger. Good to know. Um, because you're going to have a little break-in period, and once that break-in period is done, then you're going to have a good fit on your boot. Because so, it's leather. I mean, they, right, they mold right. and they form to your foot. Right, right. Now, are we talking style or functionality when, we have, when we're talking about these boots here at Mark's Greenhouse? A little Greenhouse? both. A little both. Um, you have some style that people are really wanting to mm -hmm. show off of good boot and then you have more for the horse rider that wants to have the function those workers out there who are oh, probably yeah. up early saying hey i gotta get myself a new pair of boots now we've got a bunch here i'm just gonna go ahead and pull some of these off the shelf now, that, uh, that is not a working boot. The, <laughs> this is a very fancy looking boot this is what it looks like would this be more of a working boot this is this is uh, waterproof it's a good heavy leather um very durable more mm -hmm. of a work boot okay it's got a walking heel on it as you can see yeah, it's a nice um, size heel. Oh, yes. Um, this is a... This is fancy. Boot. Oh, yes. Look at that style and swag. A lot of stitching. And, again, purely for fashion? Pretty much, yes. Okay. Now, when you're coming, you mentioned uh, the half size bigger. Is that just for the work boot or also for these all, stylish all boots, boots? Yes, all boots. Okay. And about how much does a pair of cowboy boots run? Uh, we're pretty cheap on them. Uh, starting out of about $100. Wow, mm -hmm. for a pair of, and this is real leather, right? Yes, all of it is leather. How do you take care of this? Um, you can go with your mink oil. That will help keep the, go around the seams with your mink oil. Mm -hmm. That will help keep the uh, waterproofness so water doesn't get in the stitching and anything. Um, you can go with your saddle soap as far as cleaning them. Okay. It will help keep them good and clean. Um, on a suede boot, you would not want to put any kind of chemicals, any kind of oils or anything. It would darken Just kind of like a hard bristled brush? Right. Just brush them down real good. All right. Well, guys, you can come on out here at Mark's Greenhouse, buy a nice pair of cowboy boots, maybe a new pair, maybe just a, a second pair if you really want them. I mean, look at these. So stylish. <laughs> Live out here at Mark's Greenhouse. Kelly, back on over to you. Yeehaw, everyone. We are down here at Mark's Greenhouse, and I'm just trying to be a cowgirl this morning. Not sure I can rock the hat, but we are going to get you dressed head to toe to be a cowgirl, a cowgirl, cowgirl, a cowboy, whatever you want to be this morning. We are going to get you set, again, from your head to your toes, and it's all happening live here at Mark's Greenhouse. everyone and good morning we are live here at mark's greenhouse but we're inside in a very special section this is kind of the, the bennett west section and it's head to toe getting you ready to be a cowboy or a cowgirl this morning i'm trying my luck at it i don't know if it i don't know if it works for me on this monday morning but i'm trying uh but talk to me about all of these clothes that you have i mean you got everything just about uh, pearl snap button shirts and those, your new snaps are, are in such style. Oh, yes. That's the Wrangler style there. Um, they've got them on the wrist and everything. Yeah. Um, we got the Panhandle Slim. These are what they call the rough stock. They've got the scrolling the on The embroidery. Them. And now, you were telling me that a couple of them have the insides of the sleeves right. done. Some people like the... How fancy is that? So, some of the country stars like the shirts like this there you go tucked out and you can be a country star too if you get one of these shirts wearing them just like it but with the snaps the kind of the jewel uh buttons that you got here this shirt that i'm wearing right now has got some rhinestones and lots of embroidery mm -hmm. these clothes have got to be pretty tough to hold up oh, with yes, you know riding around machine washable yes wow and the, none of these jewels or bedazzles will come off uh, they might but they do offer a little bag uh, it comes with it 
that you can put them back on. Always prepared. Oh, yes. True farmer, true westerner, <laughs> but it's all going on right here in southwest Georgia. You got a little bit of something for everyone, though. Men, women, even a couple kit things for kids. Right, for kids. Uh, kids' jeans, kids' shirts. Uh, with the pearl snap button shirts on the kids. Also. How fancy. And, of course, if you're getting decked out head to toe, you have to have something to carry all your clothes in. Oh, don't worry. They've got luggage, too. <laughs> Is there anything you guys don't have out here? Uh, well, we try to carry everything for everybody. Yeah. So. And, you know, we're talking clothes and cowboy boots uh, this morning, but you've got pesticides and lawn care, pet care. What is this place? It's everything. Mark's Greenhouse, Bennett's West, Gavin Horticulture. We mm. have the stone yard here. We have the plants out back. We Goodness. Have everything here. Now, I do want to talk a little bit more about clothes because you have a pretty limited inventory just because it's always flying off the shelves. So how often do you reorder if someone comes in saying, hey, I really want this one shirt that I saw my favorite rodeoer wearing? Mm -hmm. Ro rodeoer? Is that what you call it? <laughs> Bull rider. Bull rider. That's, it's all new to me. Uh, can you guys order it? Do you have to just kind of wait and be I patient? I can order one shirt. I can order ten shirts. Well, there you go. Pretty much anything. All right. Well, guys, we are talking cowboy boots coming up live here on Good Day. But, again, they have so much stuff out here. We can only give you a little bit of a taste this morning live here on Good Day. Kelly, back on over to you.